Senate Republicans are going back to the drawing board during this July 4th recess to repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act. A leading voice for a bipartisan solution is Louisiana's Bill Cassidy. A New Orleans woman who relies on Medicaid is trying to meet with Cassidy to share her story. As David Hammer reports, the woman's life could very well depend on it. Ashley Volion was born with spastic cerebral palsy, but in her 33 years, she's never let that stop um, her. Right now, I have, I work and I'm a PhD student, um, and I, I live in my own apartment. But that's only possible because of the 24-hour care Volion gets through Medicaid's New Opportunities Waiver Program. I can't get up and bring myself to the bathroom or get myself out of bed. The so-called NOW program lets Volion work at the Advocacy Center of Louisiana, help other disabled people, and even employ her own care workers. And another thing by being able to live and work out in the community, I'm able to pay taxes. But NOW is considered an optional Medicaid service. Whenever something's optional, those services are always the first to go. And the latest Republican bill to replace Obamacare proposes slashing Medicaid by 35 percent over the next nine years. The flip side to that would be I would be stuck in a nursing home, not being able to contribute to society. So Volion went to Baton Rouge last week to deliver this invitation to Senator Bill Cassidy to ask him to meet with her. So I'd like to talk to Senator Cassidy about this stuff because yes, this is unjust to us as humans. Volion wasn't alone. Jessica Michaud came for her son Gabriel, whose breathing tubes are provided by Medicaid. You're taking away his life support when you're taking away Medicaid. You're taking away his nurse nursing. You're taking away additional equipment. We lose Medicaid. We lose life. Cassidy is a physician who cared for Medicaid patients at Charity Hospital. That gave me hope that he will will listen to us and what we have to say and really, really take our stories into consideration before he votes. Cassidy has proposed his own bill, different from the GOP leadership's plan. It's called the Patient Freedom Act. It also cuts Medicaid, but in a more targeted way. Medicaid expansion in its current form is not sustainable. He told NBC's Meet the Press yesterday that he has a plan to keep Medicaid strong. So I think for the lower income person, there has to be assistance. On the other hand, Washington, D.C. should not be telling patients and states how to come up with a solution that's best for them. That could include dropping the half million Louisianians added under Medicaid expansion. People like Volion's caretaker, Tracy Brown, and her mother, who has terminal cancer. It's so much partisan politics and everything, and people are caring more about that than this is people's lives. Cassidy said his plan does care about people's lives, especially those whose premiums have skyrocketed. If I focus on that family sitting around the kitchen table, unable to afford premiums, frustrated with the process, and frustrated with their inability to pay, their premium, then I'm doing something good for them. So this is not like whether you're a Republican, whether you're a Democrat, who you voted for, it doesn't matter. Yeah. What matters is that you value life. Cassidy, maybe more than anyone else in the Senate, understands just what that means. But whether he meets with Volion or not, the question now is, will party leaders listen to him? David Hammer, Eyewitness News. Senator Cassidy has declined our interview requests for more than a week and never did take a public position on the official GOP bill. A vote on that bill, scheduled for last Friday, was delayed because Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell wasn't able to get enough Republican senators to support it.